Hi everyone, it's Jay Witty. So this is a 14 inch round canvas. And I'm gonna do what I thought was gonna be a bloom, but it turns out to be a <laughs> wrecked bloom. And you'll see why in a moment. Um, my base coat is the Bear Dynasty color sample that I picked up at the Home Improvement Store for like 50 cents. It's like a taupe color. The colors that I'm gonna lay down for my bloom are the Folk Art Treasure Gold Antique Copper. Uh, the Deco Art Americana 24K Gold, and then a squeeze of the Deco Art Extreme Sheen 24 Karat Gold. And I use the Folk Art Treasure Gold Blue Quartz. God, I love this color blue. It's just really, really pretty. So my pouring medium that I used for my colors, now I'm playing around with different recipes, different ideas for the bloom, you know, bloom technique. Um, <clears throat> so this particular recipe that I used is the Bare Satin Enamel Deep Base um, 7753. I uh, mixed that with the Minwax Polyacrylic Gloss and then just a, a couple of little drops of GAC 800. And my ratio was two parts of the bare satin enamel deep base to one and a half parts of the Min Minwax polyacrylic gloss. And so, like I said, I'm playing with um, different variations when it comes to ratios to see what's going to work for me. I did not add anything to the Bear Dynasty color sample. Now, Anytime I go into these home improvement stores, the first thing I do is I go to that clearance rack. Um, these little jars, these little containers, they're usually sell for like <clears throat> 50 cents. Yeah, I got some goobers in it, and I probably should have strained it. But I was just anxious to get on with this, and so I, I, I kind of skipped that step. <laughs> Won't do that in the future. <laughs> I'll, I'll be sure to strain it first. Um, but... You know, these little samples for like seven or eight ounces that you only pay 50 cents for. And um, so, you know, you can't really lose with that. And so I think that's a pretty good deal. Uh, you, and with these smaller canvases, you can usually um, end up getting maybe two or three uh, paintings out of one little jar. So hmm, it's, it's worth a try uh, or investigate, you know, next time you're at your home improvement store. So like I said, I'm playing with Bloom. Um, I'm learning, you know, these techniques the best that I can with what I have on hand or what I can obtain uh, as far as product and uh, <laughs> playing around and experimenting. Um, I got to tell you, though, I really fell in love with this. It, and I wasn't quite sure at first because... I haven't done this technique a whole lot. I'm still learning to uh, play with the, the blow dryer instead of just blowing out with a straw. Now I do use a straw, at, at some point you'll see that too. But to do the actual um, first initial bloom and blowout, of course I use my dryer. And um, so I was having fun. Uh, my cell activator, I don't think I mentioned that. My cell activator is uh, a three to one ratio, three parts Australian Floetrol to one part Amsterdam Oxide Black. And I just thought these colors would look really pretty and pop against this taupey type background. Um, I was originally thinking maybe I was gonna do a white base um, and I just thought that was going to be a little too stark. And um, for these colors, I wanted something a little bit more along the lines of what you see that I have down, that taupe color. I just thought they'd play really pretty. So, um, and I actually do two blowouts on this particular piece, and then I end up wrecking it. And so my bloom goes from a bloom on canvas to a wrecked bloom on canvas. But hey, you know... Uh, it's a learning process. Um, I'm absolutely in love with my end result. And it looks like one hot mess on the canvas. It really does. And I'll be honest, it really, really does. You know, was, you kind of look at it and go, well, what kind of composition is that? 
but when I actually stood back and really looked this piece over, for me, I kind of get a combination of a vintage feel, maybe a mystical, magical place that draws you in with all these weird looking, viney looking things, and you'll see why. So I take you in at the end, you'll see the wet results at the end of this, and I take you in for three perspectives on the dried results. The first one is outside with the sunlight hitting it. Wait till you see how these, the treasure gold colors along with the, uh, you know, that 24 karat gold, how they just glisten. They're just beautiful to shine. Uh, so you'll see the outside in natural sunlight. I take you back in and you'll see it on the wall in my studio with the studio lights on it. Then I turn all of the lights off in my studio and you'll finally see the third result of just natural light hanging, you know, ha hanging on the wall in a room with just natural light coming through the windows. So I fell in love with it. The more I look at it, the more I love it. Um, so anyways, drop me a comment down below. Um, everything that I used along with the recipes are also in the description box down below. You just need to tap on the title. It'll take you right there. Like I said, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you love it, if you hate it, what you think I could have done better next time around. Um, I look forward to all of those comments and I do respond. So, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. I am so glad you're here. And if you haven't already, I invite you to subscribe, hit the notification bell for future uploads. And with that, I'm going to let you watch the rest of this video. So until next time, guys, stay safe, take care, and blessings to you all. Bye-bye.